Hey guys, in today's video, we're diving into how to create this awesome cracked glass effect in Photoshop. It's super fun and easy, so let's jump right in. Here I am going to bring the glass image into the Photoshop document. Now increasing the size according to the document. Hit OK. Now, I'll take this old man's photo to the document. After adjusting the position and applying the Content Aware tool, the photo is looking like this. Here I'll drop the opacity level to see the glass cracks through the photo. So, it would be look like this. Let's bring this to the below of the glass. Here, we have to create all these cracked parts in different layers. So, we will use Pen Tool to create the shapes. With the help of Pen Tool and Mask, we'll create all cracked parts in different layers. Before that that I am going to create a group and place the old man image into the group. Now copy the image layer as many as the big chunks of cracked glass. Here, I am creating 16 layers. Now with the help of pen tool, I am creating the shapes. Follow the process carefully. Now press Ctrl plus Enter to convert shape into selection. Choose one layer. Holding the Alt button, click on Create Mask. The shape is now embedded with the layer. Now do the same for the rest of the layers. Here I am speeding up the video for saving your time. Those who are new in this channel, Please like the video if you enjoy this tutorial so far. Also hit the subscribe button for upcoming updates whenever I upload a new tutorial. Follow the process carefully. The process is done. Now, unlink every layer from mask. Let's change the blending mode of glass layer to screen. Already got the effect. Now we will adjust the picture's reflections in the masked portion. Click on main layer thumb. Then press Ctrl plus T. The transform handle will be activated. Now increase or decrease the size of the picture. This step is for creating reflection of the image on the cracked glass part. Again speeding up the video. Those who are new to this channel, please subscribe it for future videos. If you like the video hit the like button and share it with your friends and family. Here you will notice every part of the picture is some sort of pale, because I have reduced the opacity value. After increasing, it will be look like this. Here I am readjusting some parts of the reflections. Now, I am going to add some blur on mask. So before that I have to convert it to smart object first. Now go to filter and apply Gaussian blur.
Here I am using this mask to unblur some part. Select this mask and unblur by brushing it with black. It's totally up to you. Also I am going to repeat this process to some of the layers. So, let me complete the process and come back to you. Our project is almost done. Close the group. Now select the glass layer. Although, you can do this steps at first. Selecting the glass layer, change the blending mode to normal. Then go to channel. Holding control, click on thumbnail of RGB channel. Now, come back to the layers and press control plus J to make a copy of the selection. Now turn off the main glass image layers visibility. Our project is ready. Now you can apply some camera raw filter effects on it for better result. It is the final look of our project. If you like the video hit the like button, and if you want to see more tutorial like this, subscribe the channel. See you soon.